Art 2 ER3 is, stands for Environmentally Responsible Art, and so this is really the, only the second year that it has been in production. Uh, we began it as part of a new initiative that we started when we redefined our program and, and offered a BFA as opposed to an Honours Art program. Uh, Brandy Lee McDonald, who is the beekeeper, came to me and told me uh, about the apiary. I had already seen a little video that was put out by the Daily News on the apiary, so I was interested in what was going on there. And she had the idea that we would partner. She wanted to develop it not only as a place for bees, but as a learning environment. So what could we do that would attract a wider audience? And so the idea of the bee hotels, which we didn't invent, it is something that people have done over time, is create hotel structures for bees. But we were trying to do it in a way such that it would be um, sculptural works, sculptural works of art, as well as function as a habitat for bees. These are um, small bee hotels um, that are supposed to attract uh, different kinds of populations of bees. And um, so depending on like the, the size of, uh, of the hole in the, um, in the hotel, it'll bring different species and hopefully bring up the population in this area. I'm actually allergic to bees, so I didn't have much to do with them before this. Uh, but I, I recognize that uh, I guess the, the issue of them declining is a significant one which affects all of us. The Ontario Public Research Interest Group on campus did give us a small grant in order to buy some of the materials and, and the cedar posts for the installation of this project. So we are always grateful for our partners which allow us to do more than we would be able to do in the context of this course.